All right, so we're going to get started with lesson number seven, which is how to get a video off the web and put it into your website. I'm clicking right now, I'm looking at the review lesson link, and what we're going to do is uh, we're going to use a tool called an iframe. And there's another lesson later on in the session about iframes. An iframe basically is where you can create a little window in your um, website and then put whatever website you want and have it show up in that window. So this is a way to include um, websites, lots of different websites into uh, your website. And the, the website that we're specifically interested in right now is a, U excuse me, a YouTube video. So what we're going to do here is uh, let's take a look at our assignment and I'm going to show you how to go get a YouTube video and embed it or make it a part of your website. So first off I'm going to go on to our assignment and I'm going to click on this and if this is a video um, and so this is you've seen this a lot YouTube right and maybe and so you can come here and the thing that you're interested in going to is share okay and because when you go to the share link right here underneath a YouTube video it's going to give you the code that you need to copy to embed into your site so click share and the one that we're interested in is embed okay so what embed does is it gives us this iframe tag with a width attribute a height attribute a source attribute you're familiar with those based on your images and then you're gonna leave the other things as defaults but we'll take a look at that a little closer right here it shows you the video size so you can select different video sizes and you'll see that the width and the height changes depending on which one I select you can also change that manually so let's do 6 640 by 8 by 480 I'm gonna copy that uh, code and I'm gonna come back to my site here and I'm gonna click edit this is where I'm doing my try it yourself uh, editor so this is where you'll do it as well so I'm just gonna come here give myself a little bit of space you know I didn't do line breaks or anything I just did a little bit of space and I'm gonna click uh, copy the iframe okay so let's take a look at that code the iframe uh, if I wanted to just like with an image I'm gonna I'm gonna cut this for a second and then put it back just like an image you can just create the same the uh, the tag beginning tag iframe and tag iframe but like an image all the important content is in the tag okay so that's where you're actually creating it so I'll put that back here um, you're gonna specify the width and the height of the window that's gonna show up alright so let's just leave it let's actually make that a little smaller just so we can see it we will do uh, 400 by 400 okay and then the source uh, I would think that should say HTTP um, let's go back there okay so it's just it defaults to that so let's just put for the sake of argument let's put HTTP and then it goes this is um, that lets us know that it's a hypertext protocol right and then that's like hypertext markup language so this is just talking about being on the web and you, you can probably just copy the thing that they give you but let's just understand a little bit so you're gonna have this is the link of the video and it's telling it that it's an embed video you don't have to worry about all this you're gonna copy it as is and then it says frame border equals zero that just means it's gonna show up in the site without a big border around it without a big uh, frame around it and then allow full screen is just code that tells the browser that if you want to you can click on the link and make it bigger like you guys do almost every time all right so let's see this show web page and so now I click play if you can keep your and head the video starts playing remember because I have allow full screen it, it gives me this all right so that's all that we want to do what we want to do is change the height and width make it a 600 height by 300 width so let's just do that so all I have to do is go in here this is width 600 uh, 300 width and uh, 600 height so I change that can make it see it's gonna make it much bigger all right now the last thing I want to show you here is I want to show you how you can make it play automatically as opposed to having to wait um, for the person to do it and it's very very simple you're gonna uh, you see right here it says add an and 
autoplay. That this thing here is called an ampersand, and it stands for and. And what you're doing is basically telling the browser another piece of information, which is you want this to start automatically. And the way that you do that is you take this code right here, just the source, just the website that it's going to load, and you add an and, which is uh, above the 7 key on your keyboard. So you're going to have to do shift and uh, uh, ampersand, or the thing above the 7 key. And then you're going to type um, autoplay equals 1. And in this case, when I click show web page, rather than me having to type something, if it's going to start can automatically. If you keep your head when all about you, all right, so that is how, theirs and blaming it stop on that. You. That is how you're going to embed a YouTube video. So let's just quickly review. You come here to the video that you want. You come into the embed link, all right? And so if you found another video, you just go through, find the video, and then click on it. And you're always going to have that share all option. All right, let's get started. And this then embed the, uh, option here. And this is where you grab the code that you want to put in, all right? Great. Well, uh, so what you want to do now is is 